Yeah, I think it's dead. Got a cord that came off on these shades, and uh, I'll show you how you can put it back on. Now, the, the putting it back on is not too difficult, but the tricky part is putting it back on so it's not so inclined to come back off again. So, I'm going to show you that. What we're going to do is feed it up into the groove right here, just like so. And then we're going to turn the uh, shade so that it catches it and brings it down. And then here's our bottom and now we can control the shade. Now the problem is if we go to undo the shade or roll the shade up, because the cord is now so short, it's going to be really inclined to uh, hit the, uh, the linkage deal come apart again and you're back to square one. Now the way you don't, you can avoid that is what you want to do is take it over and loop the bottom of the shade over. There's once and then we can move this down a little bit more and loop it over a second time. And now every time we roll the shade up, it's going to be all the way up at this point instead. So it's no longer going to hit the linkage and no longer going to give us grief and come apart. Without looping the shade over once or twice, it's just going to keep hitting the gear and then come apart on you. But at least now it's all the way up way before. So it's a nice deal. Our shade is back in business. Can do its thing. Nice and easy. That's really the trick for these, and I should have actually linked the, the loop through here. So I'm going to do that as we take apart my link. And part of the problem is this link had a cover at one point, and that helped keep it. So I might just, you know, wrap some clear tape around this part to keep the link together. But anyway, now we can operate our deal one-handed. And, uh, you know, if we put a, a way to clasp this around here, that'll keep that from coming apart as well. But now we'll work and operate much better. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. That's how you can keep your roller shade working properly. Good to go.